Hey guys, real quick announcement as I've got a lot of content I'm going to be shooting over the next few weeks. So I thought I'd better get this one out today instead of a week or two from now. Um, we did just get confirmation that we are getting a about three semi loads of ICF two delivered to that job site I showed you in that short the other day, one for the warehouse. So we are going to be chock full and I don't know how much uh, time I'll have to make this announcement. Fall training. 2024. Patrick has uh, set the dates for October 17th, 18th, and 19th. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, like usual. Flex day on the 20th. Obviously, uh, the flex day is somewhat less important than it used to be because we have this wonderful facility to have these in now, so weather is much less of an issue. Um, usually we always had that flex day in case it rained for two or three days and we couldn't do all of the outside stuff. Now the outside stuff is limited mainly to site visits and, um, and our live pour, which we could even do that here if we needed to. So the 20th, a lot of you guys will find that, uh, traveling out of Springfield is, a uh, very common travel Sunday. Uh, a lot of flights leave that day. So don't worry about the 20th as, uh, an important date. But if you're here, we hang out, we talk about your projects. We dive into them. It's kind of an informal, um, you know, end into the uh, three days of meat and potatoes training. So real quick, I'm going to get into what we do and why we do it on ICF training. For one, just talking to uh, one of uh, an executive from one of the big three or four ICF companies recently talking about really making the case for how commercial uh, buildings, CMU and tilt up, it's actually cheaper to build ICF. You know, you can't really make that argument now that lumber has gone down in the residential. It's more of a value and quality play and not as much of a cost play. But in commercial, it's crazy to me to see all these uh, buildings throwing up with uh, CMU and knowing that that's actually costing more for an inferior product. And he's like, yeah, it's two things. One, the market hasn't realized that as a whole yet. And two, it's a skill gap. It's still there's so few of us out there that know how to do ICF and do it correctly, that I could do these things once a week for several years and still not get enough of you nationwide trained up doing this to really saturate the market. So knowing this skill set's always gonna ensure you've got work, um, especially going into kind of an uncertain economy. Um, you just don't know what tomorrow is gonna be. And having a skill set that very few people have at this point in the US um, is a benefit. Also, I mean, the main thing we're doing is ICF pools, but we definitely cover ICF walls. Like at one point in the training, we set up an entire wall. We brace it up with Fabforms, Zons and Zuckles, just to show you just how you basically do a wall. Not to mention by the time training rolls around, I will have a house well underway as an additional site visit to our pools. We will go see that house at whatever phase it's at. It'll either be at, my guess is it'll be at the hydronic heat stage. So we'll be installing hydronic pipe probably we may be already past that and throwing up walls uh on this on the next floor but i'm not positive but anyway so really that's a big part of it guys is um you know back in the last economic downturn pools really uh helped me kind of coast through as i uh, didn't do any houses for about two years from 2011 to 2013 but i'd started building pools and what i found back then was people who were upside down in their homes but still had a good income and a good career but just had bought a house that had gone down in value they couldn't sell it and get to their next house that might have a pool but they had income they might build a pool in, in the house they had now keep it for another eight to ten years instead of that cycle of every five years flipping your house to your next one and I think we're going to be in that cycle again regardless of the economy because how many people do you know locked into a sub 3.5 percent interest rate that's not coming back um we should hope it doesn't come back because that means things got really tough. Um, but if you're locked into a 3% rate and you got to go to a 6.5 or 7 to get to your next house, it may make a lot more sense to keep that rate and upgrade the house you have with that pool in the backyard. I'm not saying everybody. I'm saying the majority of people are going to do that, meaning the pool game will be stronger than the house game for the next 5 to 10 years pretty reliably. So knowing all of these things, they're just arrows in your quiver to you know, compete in a marketplace. So anyway, let's get into what the training will be. <clears throat> Day one, typically we have Eric, my partner, he sits down over here, sets up his TV, and walks you guys through a model of an ICF pool build. Vinyl liner in this case, 
but it's similar to the other kinds too, just a little bit of nuance that we get into later in training. And he builds it from the grass to the hole, to the gravel, to the slab, to the wall in steps that are clean, you're in conditioned space, you can absorb it better than being out on a site possibly. Um, and then Pinter comes in. Pinter shows off, and this pool here that you can see, it looks like a mess right now because it's between trainings. I will have a rentalit membrane installed in this with water, and this pool has an i5 IntelliCenter right behind the camera there. It has a waterfall, it's got a bubbler. For a tiny little pool, it's got everything we show off. It's got an auto cover, it's got everything. So they're actually gonna have a live pool indoors with the i5 over there to train on the automation. They'll show you how the cover card works, how it shuts down the water features as soon as it's engaged. Really cool stuff there. The, uh, this pool actually has an, a VS3, which is a pump that would run a 40,000 gallon pool, but we put it on here so we can show you guys the real stuff, the real engines, if you will, that run a pool like this. So we're gonna train on that day one probably hit a site visit. We're only just around the corner from the pool of the year. We usually hit that day one, assuming the weather's good. Kind of gets you guys excited about seeing just where you can, you can go from right here to insane pools. So that's usually day one. There's a little bit of flexibility to these schedules. Um, day two, usually, Rentalit uh, is going to do a demo. They're going to have a little uh, session on the TV, and then Matt will be in here um, welding and finishing up showing you guys how to actually you know work with this product which is like i said it's basically a commercial membrane all the olympic pools you saw last year in the olympics were done with this type of pvc membrane so they'll do that it may be base create skin some one of the one of the cement based uh finishes you know that that we know work and then um usually also on day two in the afternoon we are gonna go out to the shop, weather permitting, and we are gonna do a live pour. We pour a pool about this size, that's a mono pour, and we make sure it's got one end missing to where you can see in it and watch what the guys do to pour a three-dimensional piece of concrete all in one piece. That's for your higher end stuff, your uh, pools with infinity edges, pools getting eco-finished, all that stuff where we don't want cold joints. With membrane and liner pools, we don't care as much about a cold joint. We'll do, uh, we'll do that live pour. We also do something that I finally got down pat is we make a wall fail. We build a wall, I booby trap it to make sure it blows out so you guys can see the big, bad, ugly, the worst case scenario in ICF and how it's not that big of a deal. We blow that wall out while we're pouring it. We make sure it has a failure. We fix it you know, as we're going and we go ahead and fill that wall up. We've done that I think four or five times with Fox Blocks and I failed to make it blow out two of the times because it's actually not something we worry about typically because it's pretty hard to do if you're doing the work right and even trying to make it blow out I hadn't booby trapped it enough two out of the times and had to force it to fail so anyway that'll be like day two day three is a bunch more site visits we get more into um, operations of the pools and um, also all throughout this time guys there's a, there's you know 15 of you here whatever and I'll, I'm, all, I'm off to the side when Eric or Matt or the Pinter guys are talking. If you're not, you know, engaged in that, we're over here talking about your projects and your, your stuff. So it's a really um, well-developed model to really immerse you for three days. It's very broad strokes. Most of you guys go home and go, man, I just learned so much, but I realized there was so much more that I didn't know that I didn't, you know, know that I needed to know. So you go home almost, uh, you know, fired up, but also like a little overwhelmed, but that's where we come in on the, on the back end. You've got us from now on. Uh, Eric is doing design work uh, for people on their high-end pools. We're selling, at, once you've been to this training, we'll sell you a much more complex pool kit because we know you're gonna be ready. We're not going to sell our complex pool kits, our monopores, one-sided form pool kits to somebody off the street. It's like giving somebody keys to an airplane. I am not gonna be responsible for you crashing into a mountain. I'm gonna teach you how to fly. So that is training guys, October 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th is our flex day. Hit up support at all3pools.com. Pat will get right back to you on all of the, I mean, how you actually sign up and then all travel stuff that you would need to know, how to get into Springfield, when, uh, hotels all around our warehouse here that are uh, pretty nice. I mean, we're not we're not far from our downtown district, so it's it's a pretty slick place to hang out for a few days. A lot of guys bring their family, so in the evenings they're 
kind of having a working vacation. So, guys, really excited about that. The next few weeks are going to be uh, a few more ICF review videos. Plus, we're starting that big, you know, 6,500 foot ICF build that goes all the way to the roof line. Can't wait to give give you more on that. We're we're breaking ground literally tomorrow on that. So uh, expect a lot of content from that. And I think I'm done. So uh, I will see you guys next week.